Hey everyone, welcome back to another uh, video, Quick Codes with Daniel. I'm your host, Daniel, and today we're gonna be looking at how to get a distinct list of values, or a list of distinct values, rather, in a given field. And I'll show you how to count the number of those unique values, and then I'll also show you how to do a group by and count of those unique values. So we're looking at the same orders table that we've been looking at for the last few videos. If you haven't seen those, check them out. They're linked below, just more SQL and BigQuery tutorials. Um, and suppose we want to know, we want to return a uh, distinct list of customer IDs. So you'll see here that some customers show up more than once. That makes sense because a customer can make more than one order. And uh, we just want to know, you know, a distinct list of customer IDs. Suppose we've got another table with their emails and we want to send all of our uh, customers emails. So we'll grab a distinct list of customer ID here and then we'll join to emails and send out those emails. But just for this video, we're not gonna get into the joins, we're just gonna do the distinct. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do it on customer ID here. Now, the reason I don't wanna do it on customer names is because it's possible for two customers to have the same name. Suppose you've got one or two uh, John Smiths that have ordered from you. Well, if you've got two and you just count distinct on John Smith, they're gonna show up as one. So we're gonna use customer ID, assuming that the table is assigned a unique customer ID to every customer. All right. so. By distinct here, what we're gonna do, or by select, we're gonna put distinct, and then we're just gonna call in the field that we want to get a distinct list of. Right now, I've got that limit set there to 100. That's fine. If I didn't have that limit, we would just get a complete list of all of our unique customer IDs. So it's really as simple as that. Um, now, suppose you wanted to get a count of unique IDs. Suppose you're tasked with coming up with finding the number of unique customers that you had. Also very simple, in front of count, in front of a distinct, we're gonna put count, and then we're gonna close that in parentheses there. And so now we're gonna get a count of the distinct customer IDs. And you'll see that we've got, uh, <clears throat> we've got 17,415 unique customer IDs. Pretty, Nice. All right, now suppose you wanted to see how many unique customers you had in each region. So if you've seen the last few videos, you'll know that the table includes a region field, which tells you which global region each customer is from when they place an order. And so suppose that the business you're working for is asking you to give them a list of each region and the unique customers from those regions. And then say they only want a list of the top 10 by the number of users that they have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass a region in here. So we'll see for every region, we wanna know how many distinct customer IDs there are. And we'll add our group by call there. And we're gonna group by region. And then we'll call this count of distinct IDs. We'll call this, uh, what should we call it? Number of customers, number of unique customers. And then we're going to order by that. So we're gonna order by number of customers. And we're gonna put this in descending order. So it'll go top to bottom, greatest to least. Let's run this. There you have it. So it's all worked so far. Uh, we'll see Central America has the most followed by Western Europe and then Southeastern Asia. But again, they only wanted the top 10. So that's simple. We'll come in here and we'll say limit 10. And there you have it. So there's your top 10 uh, regions by unique number of customers. So there you have it, pretty simple one. This is just distinct. Uh, and the other thing I'm trying to, to do is I'm trying to add the videos kind of on top of each other. So we did group by in the last video. If you haven't seen it, check that out. It's linked below. Um, and so I'm hoping to stack these on top of each other so they build on each other and you can start to make more and more sophisticated queries as we go through the tutorial. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one.